What's up, Dragon Ball fans? Today we're breaking down episode two of Dragon Ball Daima, titled Glorio. Now, you might have expected this episode to throw us straight into the heat of battle after last week's cliffhanger, but instead, we're taking a step back to focus on our heroes and their hilarious new mini transformations. Yeah, that's right, our favorite fighters are fun size now. But don't get it twisted, there's still plenty of action and drama bubbling up beneath the surface. Let's get into it. So episode 2 picks up right where we left off with Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, and the rest of the crew transformed into their kid-sized versions. Thanks to Goma's twisted Dragon Ball wish. And man, let me tell you, seeing our powerful fighters as tiny versions of themselves is hilarious. But it also brings back some of the classic Dragon Ball humor we haven't seen in a minute. Master Roshi is straight up living his best life. The guy is thrilled to be back in his prime, and honestly, a more confident Roshi is both entertaining and, let's be real, a little terrifying. Meanwhile, Boma and Chi Chi are low key enjoying their de aging too, which honestly makes sense given Boma's past Dragon Ball Super wishes. But of course, Vegeta and Piccolo aren't feeling it. They're all business and ready to fix this mess ASAP. But the biggest thing here is Goku. He's not really sweating his new look, instead, he's focused on saving baby Dende, who's been snatched by Goma and Degasu and is now a hostage. Classic Goku, always thinking of others, but let's be real, being tiny doesn't sit right with anyone, and the heroes need to find a way to reverse this whole situation fast. What makes this episode stand out is the way it plays with Dragon Ball's power dynamics. Goku and the gang aren't just smaller, they're also physically weaker and dealing with all kinds of hilarious obstacles because of their size. Goku's literally too small to land some of his usual punches and kicks, so what does he do? He goes old school and brings back the power pole to make up for his stumpy arms. This episode really takes its time showing the heroes adjusting to their new bodies. Even simple things like flying are suddenly harder because of balance issues. Piccolo and Goku both struggle with this, adding a whole new layer of challenge to their situation. It's like Dragon Ball GT all over again, except this time, it's everyone, not just Goku, dealing with the drawbacks of being pint sized. There's also a fun bit of lore that expands on the whole Demon Realm plot. We learn more about the Namekians' origins, and it's revealed that the Namekians originally came from the Demon Realm. Before they established their own planet, that little detail adds a lot of more depth to Piccolo's upcoming journey, which should be exciting to explore later. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, Glorio. We got a small taste of him in episode 1, but in Glorio, he really steps into the spotlight. Glorio shows up out of nowhere, offering to help Goku and the gang get to the demon realm. But here's the thing, can we really trust this guy? Glorio claims he's not strong enough to take down Goma on his own, but he's heard enough about Goku to know that our boy's the real deal. Shin's super suspicious of Glorio's intentions, and honestly with good reason. Dragon Ball loves its redemption arcs, so it wouldn't be shocking if Glorio ends up being a villain turned ally, or plot twist, maybe he's just trying to get rid of Goma so he can take over the demon realm himself. Glorio only sticks around for a few minutes in this episode, but his arrival shakes things up. He's got his own spaceship, or as he calls it, a plane, and he's ready to take Goku and Shen straight into the demon realm. This move conveniently pushes the story forward, but it also leaves a big question. What's Glorio's real agenda? With Glorio's help, Goku and Shen head off to the demon realm, leaving Vegeta, Piccolo, and Bulma behind to make their own journey later. We also get to see Bulma flex her genius as she starts working on repairs for Kabito's spaceship, or Shin's spaceship, that Shin's spaceship, giving us some major Dragon Ball Z vibes when she's fixed the Name nameless Namekian ship. It's cool to see Bulma getting more involved in the action again. Her intelligence is seriously underrated in this series, and it's nice to see her play a major role instead of just being on the sidelines. Plus, her repairs are gonna take 10 days, which gives the rest of the gang plenty of time to get used to their new bodies and plan their next steps. We also get more lore backstory on Shin, as Shin was actually from the Demon Realm, and 
he traveled out of the demon realm when the demon realm was open for travel and was later shut down as a lot of races started leaving the demon realm and then they had to disallow it by the end of episode glorio the stage is set for the heroes to finally venture into the demon realm we're talking major lore drops new characters like glorio with mysterious motives and of course the fun dynamics of watching our heroes struggle with their many forms and with the next episode titled daima we're finally about to dive into the demon realm itself and see what wild challenges await Goku and his crew. The real question is, how long are Vegeta and Piccolo gonna stay stuck on Earth while Goku charges into the action? Daima's opening and closing themes hint that they'll eventually join Goku, but it's gonna be interesting to see how their separated journeys play out. And we also got a little bit more lore that the Demon Realm Dragon Balls are only three Dragon Balls and that the Namekians that were in the demon realm the one that's still there that came in episode one is a legendary namekian that stayed behind while the rest of the namekians left to venture out into the other universes and that namekians don't like to be ruled by anyone so that's why they left the demon realm even though they were treated so well there so what do you guys think of dragon ball daima so far are you loving the comic twist with the transformations or are you ready to get straight into the demon realm action drop your thoughts in the comments below and let me know what you think about glorio's true motives thanks for watching everyone be sure to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next breakdown of dragon ball daima the stakes are getting higher the mysteries are deepening and we're just getting started i'll see you next time seamless tuber out peace